Hey friends, we are, where are we going? It is Saturday morning. The kids are not in a good mood this morning. It's Saturday morning and we're headed out to grab, to grab breakfast. The kids are actually all in their pajamas. They just brought blankets. They wanted to stay in their pajamas while we would go and grab a donut this morning. So they're grumpy. Um, but everybody's in here. We are headed to Duncan this morning, but I thought I'd film like a weekend vlog. Um, we got a lot of stuff I need to get done today. Ethan and I are going on date night tonight, so I have to get ready for that in a little bit. Um, we're going to go to a place we've never been before. And my plan is while we're in the town we're in, we're going to go get some crumble cookies because I've been wanting those forever. Um, I've only had them, ever had them one time. It was when we were out of town last, I think, was it spring? Um, I, th I believe spring, possibly fall, spring, uh, when we went to the zoo. Um, anyway, so I'm hoping to do that, but I don't know if y'all noticed, I did, I did get a new vehicle. Um, y'all might notice, like, the interior looks a little bit different, and then there's no, well, I, there, what, there is a seat right here, but I moved it out, um, for now. And then we have a DVD player, which has been awesome. So I'll share with, I'll show y'all that in a little bit. I did get a new vehicle and kind of explain my reasoning because I didn't have my expedition for super long, but it's actually been, we've been like really looking for this for the past few months. I'll, I'll share it in a little bit though. Um, but let's go get some Dunkin' iced coffee. Haven't had that. Well, I actually had it while I was on vacation. Um, we're going to go get that. And what kind of donut do y'all want? Why? What kind of donut do you want, Millie? Um, peach. What about you, Ren? I want a Valentine's one. I think they, they, I bet they have Valentine's ones. They usually do like themed. Ren, do you want a donut? Um, Ren's not as have... big of a fan as donuts. Yeah, they might have something else. We'll see if they have something else for you. We'll find something. All right, so we got like, I, there was like, they put like ice on the road yesterday, and so my car got dirty when we went out last night. And my car is not wanting to like stay in neutral. It's like a safety feature it has or something. I, there's so many safety features on this thing. Um, but I think I finally got it to, I think I finally got it to stay on there. It got all dirty yesterday. We went out to grab supper and it was like the roads were wet and then they had like that salt or brine all over the roads. Um, We've got donuts over here. Callan's eating some peanut butter. Whoa, you spitting your drink out. Some peanut butter toast. I've got my pump parts soaking in the sink. Also, don't have much coffee left. I mentioned, um, I mentioned that we're going on date night tonight and I think I'm gonna leave Callan for the first time for date night. I, I feel like we left him one other time but just for a couple of hours, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, I think we did. But just for a couple hours, not long at all. Um, and so usually on our date nights, we just take him because he's easy compared to all four kids together. So we just, we still feel like we're on date night even with just him. But I think, I think I'm gonna try to leave him tonight. As of right now, I'm going to. I might change my mind, but. Last night, so I have not pumped in months. Like, he just doesn't take a bottle. Like, I'm always with him. But last night, I decided, well, I need a little bit of milk, which I think I might have a bag or two in the freezer. I can't remember. I need to look. But last night, I thought, I need a little bit of milk for him. That way, um, we might be gone. We're probably going to be gone more than just a couple of hours. So, um, I decided to pump last night, and I just didn't get much at all, like less than two ounces, because it hadn't... I tried to wait a couple hours after he ate. I don't know if it was quite that, but my body, my body's just not used to, like, pumping extra and... Um, yeah, Y'all know how pumping works and like your body, like how it produces. So I didn't get much at all. So I thought I would try to pump a little bit more today and get maybe a couple more ounces to send with him just in case uh, he starts getting fussy. So I've got those washing so I can pump just a little more. Actually, um, all my pump stuff, I've got a lot of it just from when we were in the NICU. A lot of bottles and stuff left over. This is how much I got last night, which is not even two ounces. It's not much at all. So... Anyways, I hope I'll get just a little more today. And then, like I said, I think I might have a little, yeah, I do. Okay, I think I might have just a little bit in the freezer. I've got two, two and a half ounces in this one. 
I remember pumping one, one or two times and three ounces in this one, so. All right, update. I got a little bit more. I just pumped like just for like a, not even five minutes, just to just get him a little bit more. He should be good for, it's not good, but we're not gonna be gone super long. So he should be good between this and then the other milk that I pumped last night. And then he's eating really well now too, like real food. So um, between all that, he should be totally fine. So although you cannot <laughs> tell it, <laughs> I've been, clean, I've been getting cleaned done this morning. Um, I've got some laundry that I'm working on. I'm straightening up the girls, or the, all the kids' rooms right now. Um, I still got so much to do though. Uh, I'm kind of straightened up our bathroom. I've still got a couple things to do in there. So I'm trying to get everything ready for me to clean my floors. I actually got a new cleaning. The kids are just playing this morning. I told them no tablets, just go play. Sometimes it's really hard to hold the camera and hold him and talk. Um, but I actually got a new like cleaning product that I'm still testing out to make sure I love it. Um, and if I do, I'm going to share that with y'all probably sometime in like February. But I will say that my floors, the water's so dirty after I clean them. So I feel like that means it's effective. Um, but I'm still testing it out. So I'm going to try to clean all my floors with that in just a bit once I'm done with everything else. Hey, are you playing this morning? Yeah? So, that's what I'm working on. So, I have so much to do, but I've also got a lot done, although you cannot tell it. This part of my house is messy, and this is probably what I'll get to, like, very last. All right, so before I go any farther, I wanted to share about my fiber that I've been taking for several months now, and that is the Bellway Beauty Super Fiber Plus Collagen. Thanks so much to Bellway for sponsoring today's video. Um, I've worked with them several times. I've been using their fiber for several months. I really love the Bellway Bell Beauty. If you've ever gotten like a breakouts after eating a bunch of junk food and sweets and stuff, then um, you know that can like affect your skin. So collagen is um, really good for your skin. It like improves the skin from the inside. It's got hyaluronic acid in it, which is really good for like my dry skin that I have. It also, yeah, like I said, hydrates the skin with the hyaluronic acid in it. I'll show y'all back here. It is a uh, psyllium fiber and it helps support a happy gut, less bloating, you feel fuller, stronger hair and nails, youthful appearance, and skin elasticity. I take it once a day. I do one scoop one time a day. Um, you can do it like one to three times a day. You just mix it with water and I'll show you all that. So I'm going to leave this link below. You can get it on Amazon now, which is awesome. So, um, use the link below. You can get 20% off your order on Amazon. I definitely help that. think this helps me stay regular for sure because without it, I'm really not. It's also made with real fruit. Um, it's like keto friendly, paleo friendly, uh, zero sugars, which is awesome. And not only that, but staying regular helps with my weight loss. Um, so I'm going to leave that link below. It has a really good taste to it. This is my favorite flavor. I love the strawberry lemonade. My second favorite is, um, the raspberry lemon is so, so good too. Um, they also have a super fiber and fruit one. So that's another option that you could try. All right. So I do one scoop of the fiber. And then I do a little bit of room temperature water, which is key to getting it to mix well. Do not do like super cold water. I would do room temperature water and it mixes well for me. And like I said, the taste is actually pretty good. It's not bad at all. This one is for sure my favorite. So I'm getting ready. I'm going to take this, stir it up and take it. Um, and I will leave the link below for if y'all are interested. So I am getting ready for the day. I'm going to, I think I'm going to curl my hair. I'm trying to decide do I want to straighten it or curl it. And I'm going to curl my hair. I washed it last night. So it'd be all clean for today. And I knew we were going on date, date, date night tonight. Um, but tonight, where, where we're going on date night, we're going to an Italian place. Or this is our plan. We've got reservations there. Um, and inside the mall where it's at, there is a Sephora, which I never get into the Sephora. So, I'm going to look for a new foundation, I think. Um, I'm just about out of this one, the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better foundation. I do like this foundation, um, and it looks really good on my skin. I think I'm going to try something different, though. I like it. I don't love it. I like it. Um, I actually got, like, several different foundations in here. I just love trying new foundations. 
Um, I've also got this L'Oreal True Match Nude Hyaluronic Tinted Serum, which is also pretty good. It's more of a lighter coverage though. Hey. You're supposed to be taking a nap, sister. I'm You've already got some chapstick. Um, I also really like the Camo CC Cream by e.l.f. Super full coverage. It's pretty good though. And I've had these for a long time. This is, this color's way too dark for me. But I have two of these. One's lighter, one's this one. Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour. I love it. I use it sometimes. I just honestly just mix it up. Anywho, so I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna look for a new foundation while I'm there. I'm getting ready to curl my hair. Uh, I mentioned that we did get a new vehicle, so I thought I'd kind of explain that a little bit. Um, I'll move this over as I'm doing my hair. Um, I thought I'd kind of explain that a little bit because, um, I don't know, just, we haven't, we didn't have our other vehicle for long, so I wanted to ex explain my thought, not that I have to explain things, I mean, it's my car. I just kind of want to explain my thought process on switching vehicles because I know that y'all know I had a Ford Expedition, which is a really nice vehicle. Um, we had a Honda Odyssey before that, and then we traded the Odyssey in for a Ford Expedition. I just, uh, we were actually having a few problems. I think my Odyssey was a 2013, I believe. We were having a few problems out of it, and I, I, at that point, I was really wanting like a large SUV. Um, and my favorite SUV at the time was uh, the Ford Expedition. Uh, I had a Ford Expedition Max. Anyway, so we got the Ford Expedition in 2020. It was a tw 2019 Expedition. Um, you, do you need help with your work? Okay, I'll be in there in just a minute, okay? Lainey's got some schoolwork. She's got to finish up before Monday. But, um, it was a 2019 Ford Expedition. And when we bought it, one of the features that we really liked in our Odyssey we had was um, the seating arrangements. You could take any of the three seats in the second row out and um, you could have, like here's one, two, three, three seats. You could take the middle out, you could take this seat out or you could take this seat out and have two on each side. The seating arrangements were amazing. And when we bought the Expedition, we actually thought that we could take the middle out and we didn't try to do it before we bought it. We just assumed that it came out and it didn't. And we didn't know that until like after we had bought it and all that. So it was kind of like the art, it, it was fine the way it was working out, but um, sometimes it's just a hassle with the kids getting in and out. We had the second row, we had one of the side seats laying down. Millie and Cal, Millie was in the middle, Callan was in one of the sides just because it was easier with his car seat getting in and out and then Ren and Delaney were in the back the very back um so one of the seats were laying down they had to always climb over the seat um we just it just wasn't an option to take that middle seat out like we thought it was so not long after they ha we had the expedition I was like thank you and actually a lot of y'all were like I cannot believe you got rid of the van with the uh sliding doors um and so I, after a few months after we got the expedition, I loved the look of my expedition. I loved how big and how high I sat up. Like I just felt it just was so comfortable to drive. Like, and that's why I, just for months I've been thinking about switching, but I just wasn't sure if I really wanted to because I loved how pretty my expedition was and I loved how like high I sat up. Um, but due to that and a few other things for the past few months we've been looking at honda odysseys um we've looked at some pre-owned ones we've looked at i think we looked at five total we looked at a couple pre-owned ones and then we looked at a few new ones um and if y'all have not tried to buy i think this is with a lot of vehicles but i know for sure honda odysseys they are so hard to come by like new ones um i was not against buying a pre-owned one but there was just like i don't know i just um we decided just to go new and we'll probably keep this car for a long time i said that with my last car too though but i really do think we will it, they're really hard to find right now i feel like this is getting really long me explaining this but anyways they're really hard to find i would check like daily at different car dealerships between here and like an hour and a half away and 
I would call them and ask about it and they were like, no, like we're pre-selling Honda Odysseys before we even get them. And I didn't want to do that. Like I didn't want to buy a vehicle before I could drive it and make sure I want it. So anyways, every so often a dealership would actually get one in and um, a couple of them we actually went and looked at, but it was not exactly what I wanted. Um, it was not the color I wanted. And that was important to me because if I was buying a new vehicle, I wanted to get exactly what I wanted. Um, the trim and trim level and all that. Um, and exa the exact one that I wanted, like nobody was getting them in. And if they did, they were pre-selling them or they'd sell them like the same day before we could even get there. Like it's, it's crazy how the market is right now. But I saw one after we got back from our trip, I saw one come up on a website the place was about an hour from us and we weren't going to be able to go for a couple days so i thought okay we'll go look at it in a couple days because we had things going on over the next uh, couple days before that i said okay if we'll go look at it if it's still there then maybe it's meant to be but if it gets gone it's totally fine like we'll just keep looking so um that day we went right after Ethan got off work and it was still there everything just worked out and we bought it <laughs> so um it just worked out well like our trade they were they did amazing with our expedition trade um more than what other dealerships were going to give us like they ended up coming down some on what we were gonna pay it was just worked out really well like we got like all the extras they even done the wet like they come with like the weather floor mats and the same van in another color, same trim level and everything at other dealerships didn't even ha didn't have that. Like we were just gonna have to buy those extra, but this one like came with that. Um, so we ended up buying it. I was like, you know what? I've been looking at them for months. It took at least probably three months, I would say, to even find what I wanted after like looking at several of them. So we did get it, and I'm happy with our decision. Uh, I feel like this is something we'll probably, I'll probably keep for a long time. It's a good uh, vehicle for our family, our size family. The safety feature, I, I don't know if I, did I say, yeah, we got a new Honda Odyssey. Um, it's a 2022 Honda Odyssey Elite. It's a trim level. I'll show it to y'all in a second. Um, the interior design is exactly what I wanted. Like if I could build this car, this is the car I would have like picked like all the stuff in it. Um, the safety features, I don't know if y'all have seen like safety features of like the Odysseys. Um, and I, a lot of other vans may have this too. Like they're amazing. Like um, you'd have to look them up. Like the safety features, like my expedition did not have these kind of safety features. Um, like the blind spot lights thing, like things like if you're driving and like it'll tell you when there's a car in your blind spot. And like um, if a car in front of you, like if you're like coming up on them quickly, like it'll start beeping and I if I'm not mistaken it starts putting on the brakes for you um like I was backing out of my driveway today and yesterday and like a car was coming by and it like started beeping to let me know like don't back up yet it, it's just me there's a lot of safety features to it so um I'll go show it to y'all and show you a couple all right it just made sense for our family to go ahead and switch the seat no, the, the biggest thing was the seating arrangements and um, I don't know if y'all know this about the Odysseys, like the way the second row, the seats slide. I'll try to show y'all that. Okay, I think I'm having a pretty stinking good hair day today. I think it's pretty good. Hopefully it'll stay this way. This has turned into a very long explaining, but if y'all stuck with, stuck with me, then now I'll go show it to you. Actually, a lot of y'all, like when I got my expedition, several of y'all were like, you're going to miss those sliding doors. I can't believe you switched. And we have missed those sliding doors, especially in our garage. And the kids opening up the door to get out or get in the car, and it hits the side of our garage, the walls in our garage. Um, and then, like, just the size of the vehicle it just fits in our garage better with both the cars and just gives us a little bit more space. Um, there's just several reasons we decided to switch. Anyways, let's get, I'll show you, I'll show it to you. All right, so this is it. I went with white. The uh, I love like the rims on it, how they are. I really wanted specifically a white vehicle. And the two other new ones that we looked at were black. 
and um, I just knew I wanted white after looking at them. So, so that's the number one thing. I wanted a white one. Um, not necessarily like the trim level, like this is the Elite. I would have been fine with um, a lower trim level as long as it came with the DVD player. And then another thing that I really wanted was the black interior. So the white ones come with either a black interior or a tan interior. And that was another thing that I really was holding out for is for one to come available with the black interior. Okay, and as far as the sliding seats, also the floor mats is another thing I was telling y'all. So we do have the middle seat out, but we can always put that middle seat in if we um, needed that extra seat. The girls' seats are back there. It's got really good trunk space. Um, it's got like a deep trunk. But as far as the sliding seats, both of these seats do this. You can take it and you can slide it over, which is like huge to me because there's several times when Ren needs help with her seat and it's hard for me to get back there, but all I have to do is slide Callan over and help her. That is huge to me. And we can just like keep one of them in the middle if we want to. And you know, it's easy for them to get out right here, but right now we just have it to where there we've got two of them on each side and then the girls can get out from the middle. So anyways, I thought I'd just share that with y'all. I'm ready. Well, except for getting dressed, Ethan will be home in about um, an hour, and we're excited to go on date night. Oh, so the lighting's gonna be awful, but we are headed on date night. Ethan got off work. Um, we dropped the kids off. They're not with us. We're going to um, an Italian place. I don't know if I said that earlier. Um, we're going to an Italian place, and then it's inside of a mall, so we might do a little bit of shopping. But then we're going to Crumble Cookies. I think I told y'all that earlier, so I'm excited for that. Um, we've never been to this Italian place, but I've heard it's really good. Um, so we'll see how it is. Cause you're my sweetheart. having a drink from Chick-fil-A. Hi, can I get a name for the order? Uh, Cooper. So what can I get for you? Uh, can I just get a large Coke? They're a little bit warm. Anything else? I think some of them are. Maybe it. Alright. 244 around the corner. Maybe. So we got two for us and two for um, my brother and sister-in-law, Ethan's brother and sister-in-law. So we got the chocolate cake for them and then we each got, this is cinnamon fry bread. And then, or this is chocolate something, cinnamon fried bread, and this is a oatmeal cookie, chocolate oatmeal cookie with Rolo and caramel on it. So I thought we'd do a little taste test. I'm so excited about this cinnamon fried bread. So I'm not gonna touch their cookies. So let's, um, oh, this one's warm. Here, there's your piece. Um, oh, it looks so good. Mmm, you like it? I really can't taste it. Really? You can try the ice cream with it? Mmm. Yeah. It's really good. Okay, I really like that. It's not very sweet. Maybe that's what I'm meaning by. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's really good. I was gonna get the girls one. Oh, it's free chick fil um, I was gonna get the girls one. He said a free chick play sandwich on the receipt. Oh. I was gonna get the girls one, but they've had dessert tonight already. So they did chocolate covered strawberries tonight. You can try that one. What do you think about the cinnamon fry bread? I like it because it's not like extremely sweet. No. Alright, here we go. Alright, That's what? 
and this is the oatmeal with rollo and caramel on it this is pretty good too i like the other one better but this is good oatmeal chocolate chip with rollo i probably would have got this chocolate one as my second one but ethan is a real big fan of like all chocolate right yeah i'm not and, a real big chocolate eater the other flavor they had was they were out of chocolate chip but they had like a raspberry something i didn't think that sounded good raspberry lemonade what do you like think that? about that one um it's definitely got a lot more flavor than that one like i don't know callan i like them both callan's taking a bottle uh. did you get that picture or she just sent it to me oh yeah no, i didn't get it <laughs> what do you like better i think this one I like the cinnamon. Mm. Like, I don't taste any cinnamon in that. Really? Really. Like I did not taste any cinnamon in that. It reminds it reminds me of something. I'm gonna put a little bit of this ice I can't think of what it reminds me of though. Hey friends, it's the next day. I'm gonna start getting ready for church. I just gotta shower and do my skincare. <sighs> Put this up so I don't get everything everywhere. Um, I'm looking. That's awful. I'm drinking coffee. Uh, just ignore my appearance right now. I'm just getting myself ready for the day, so it's okay. Um, we ended up going to. I don't remember what I update as far as our date night, but dinner was good. It wasn't like out of this world good, like. I kind of wish we would have done Carabas, which we have not had in years. But as far as Italian, I love Carabas. So we went to dinner and it was good. And then um, we did not walk around the mall. We only uh, went in Sephora and then just got too overwhelmed and walked out. <laughs> um, I ended up not getting anything. I just, like I said, I was just a little bit overwhelmed. And so. I was like, you know what? I'm not buying anything today. Like, I don't know what it was. Like, the couple things that I wanted to buy, one of them, they didn't have my shade in it. And the other one, I just, once I, like, looked at it and swatched it, I didn't think it was going to work out. Anywho, so I didn't buy anything. So, which is fine. Like, I didn't have to have anything last night. Then we ended up going to Tart, no, we to crumble cookies. And then we ended up going to Target um, and just getting a few things. We got Calvin a few snacks. Um, we got Calvin some diapers. And anyways, we also ended up getting, we found Rian and Delaney a new little dress. And I'm pretty sure that was it. Um, and then we went and got the kids. Calvin did good. He took his bottle. Um, and then he was asleep by the time I got there. All right, I am ready for the day. So let's share what I'm wearing today. Um, Ethan's getting Gallon ready right now, and all the girls are ready. So this dress, um, I actually bought it like several months ago, like right after Callan was born. It's a green color, and I bought it, and I was not able to wear it and I actually tried it on even like a month ago and I have not been able to wear this dress um I just bought it in a size that I thought would fit and it didn't it's like up here is um like in the arms like right around in here in the chest area just has not fit since I bought it right literally right after Colin was born I bought several dresses after he was born and I tried it on this morning. I actually had something different on and I just didn't feel comfortable in it. And I was like, let me try this dress on again. And it fits so good. It's like a perfect fit now. So non-scale victories, um, which I have seen on scale too, but non-scale victories too. Like stuff that even, I couldn't even fit in a month ago. And so I'm so excited for that. So I'm ready for the day. I'll show y'all the kids this morning. Um, we gotta leave in about like right now so let me go do that Ow. all right sorry all right millie your boat come hey guys. Hey here guys. i've got this for you because it is very cold this one. Right. Oh. Um, you can wear it in the car but you can take it off once we get to church but just don't lose it why can i not take it off let me see. let me see how it fits oh it's cute my cat it looks so good oh kellen's not happy millie come get your boat wait a minute wait a minute right here 
Okay, yeah, it's right there. That's the same in here for like five oh, oh, seconds. Okay. Right there. I'm not, count five. I'm not that. Um, and that. Right next. I'm going to, um, One you're going to be a kidnapper. And I'm going I'm to. I'm right, Let me see your spider. Look, you let's get this one again. All right, so it is always chaotic on Sunday mornings, and the kids are now in the car. I didn't get to fully show them, but I'm going to go ahead and end this out. We're going to church, and then we have lunch with some family. We're actually celebrating a few birthdays at lunch today. Um, or actually, one of them is Delaney's. We did celebrate her birthday at Disney, so we didn't do an actual party, but um, we're also going to celebrate with just a few family members just eating lunch and stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Well, our little weekend vlog. Um, I'll see you guys soon for another one. Bye.